so if, you, if you'd like to start, Valentina, it's your time now. Your okay. floor is yours. Okay. Uh, I'm going to share the screen. The screen so if... Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Can you see it? Okay, good afternoon, everyone. And first of all, thank you, Barbara, for uh, uh, giving me this opportunity. Um, this presentation is part of my uh, Marie Curie in Czech Republic or OPEC postdoctoral fellowship at the Department of Asian Studies in uh, Olmos. Um, it aims to explore possibilities of collaboration and synergy with the Museum of Modern Art Olmos and the Central European Art Database. Um, the project started just in March, so what I'm going to present to you is just the project's overall logic and expected outcomes, along with some preliminary data I acquired within this month and a half. Uh, this presentation will clarify two main questions and probably popped into your mind when you read the abstract. Uh, why does a museum and religious anthropologist present a colloquium of art historians and conservators? And what is the connection between Chinese religious statues and a colloquium inspired by a Czech artist? I met for the first time Baran's work when I started my OPIAC fellowship. Like many visitors without prior knowledge of artwork um, and the artist, I just relied on my sensory experience of the installation. As I read from the exhibition's captions, Baran's burial of artifacts and unearthing them, according to a timeline, speaks of the ambiguous dimension of preservation and heritage. What is left behind when we curate and preserve artifacts that nonetheless are part of them and call uh, the stories that do not conform to national memorialization or the so-called authorized heritage discourse, Although my project deals with colonial collections and contemporary religious practices and artifacts in Taiwan, I found the exhibition on Baran inspiring to further reflect on methodological steps that um, in my project can develop, in particular my attempt to bring to the fore the untold uh, of these collections on the museum gallery spaces through a curatorial proposal. I intend to use the possibility of participating in this workshop to have your feedback on which direction the project would go. Uh, the title of my project is Processual Decay Paradigm and refers to the processual nature of decay. What decays and how is always cultural, socially, and politically laden and subjected to temporal changes. My project aims to understand how Chinese folk material religion, particularly Chinese ghost statues, was and still is subject of European musealization and complexity um, and complexify its museum narrative through the angle of decay and material transformations. Process of decay paradigm intends to understand whether museum artifacts can be approached as not something to be cared of uh, or maintained in museums, in other words, as a conservation problem but rather as a narrative means for understanding museum collections otherwise and catching all material and historical changes intervening in museum spaces and museum collections. For this reason, the project bridges historical ethnographic and curatorial methods, making them dynamically dialogue. Um, if pressed through the decay angle, the Chinese religious artifacts are far from artistic or heritage relics, but are lively materials crafted, used, and deteriorated as ratifications of multiple stories, past traces, and voices intertwined within uh, their collecting. In other words, their decay, uh, material and conceptual metamorphosis from religious artifacts to collectible and displayable items are museum values per se that must be unpacked. This emphasis on decay as a marker of material, historical, and conceptual changes in Chinese material religion contrasts with the usual portrayal of earliest Chinese collections in museum spaces. An example is offered by the Xavira Missionary Museum in Parma, which was established in 1901, uh, to show the material culture of the different areas where Xavira missionaries were operating. Um, the idea came when Senator uh, Fedele Lampertico donated Chinese pieces from the World uh, Arts Exhibition in Turin uh, to the founder of the Xavierian Congregation, uh, Guido Maria Conforti. The current museum installation is designed in such a way that Chinese artifacts aesthetics is emphasized. In contrast, the specific biographic stories of the artifacts and the missionaries' understanding of the items they collected are usually minimized, as you probably could guess from the uh, photo in the 
uh, slide. <clears throat> Focusing on Chinese material religion collected in European museums through the angle of decay means understanding how materials move. In this respect, I deem that an interdisciplinary collaboration with contemporary artists and art historians interested in the material turn is particularly fruitful as they have been reflecting and manipulating matter as, quote, paramount in manifesting the artist's aesthetic judgment or social critique. The artist with whom I would like to collaborate with in my project uh, investigation is Yi Ting Wang, uh, who has worked in particular with natural elements um, in his installation, this embodied poster, Wang selecting some dying pine trees. I hope to show you the link so you can have an idea of her hard work. Um, and, the, and she attached uh, to these pine trees uh, strings whose tensions and sweets in position indicate the decaying process of the trees, with at the same time showing the continuation of their lives. As declared in a YouTube interview in 2018, Wang intended to show the temporality of death and the constant process of transformation of natural materials. The selection of pine tree is particularly significant as pine trees uh, plays in Chinese um, in Chinese belief and Chinese culture, um, as, as well as bonsai, um, the symbol of longevity. Um, consequently, their culture and heritage world is compromised when they wither. In an interview with the art online journal Synonym, Wang argues that natural material is a temporal carrier, and the artist is immersed in this temporal network that connects past, present, and uh, future affordances through decaying matter. At the same time, the latter evokes the path through its decayed trace, engages with present experiences, and shows future trajectories as it decomposes in front of our eyes, thereby suggesting that death and decay cannot be easily singled out at a particular point in time. This immersion of the artist in decay is an investigation of matter, literally, and I quote, I observe and I study their characteristics and learn their personalities, like establishing communication, negotiation even, with the material sometimes I felt, and the work eventually nurtured is like a visual investigation and presentation of this negotiation process. I would like to precisely to address um, this, um, sorry, I'm going again here. Um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, start from the beginning, maybe from this current slide. Okay, I would like to address this investigation of phenomenological engagement with collecting materials in my curatorial proposal. Is it possible to use artwork with decaying material to bring to the fore and highlight the historical and social decay as both a material dynamic process and a set of political and social conditionings and power imbalances that need to be addressed? How can decay material speak and to what extent can it freely express itself without conditioning? To what extent can the free expression of decay be acceptable when working with religious artifacts? Um, these are the main questions I would like to address within my curatorial endeavor. The latter still needs to have a clear format. It could be a um, museum guideline, it could be a written curatorial concept or even um, virtual installation, depending on funding available. Uh, the curatorial proposal will explore each musealization practice, such as collecting, displaying, uh, storing through the angle of decay, combining both the suggestions that my specific case study stimulates and some inputs derived from a literary review on conservation studies. My curatorial proposal will entail three main sections uh, within an exhibition room, one for each museum phase and its relationship with decay, and they are put like in a cycle because they are like kind of concentric stages. Um, moving from the core cycle collecting to the last one storing and displaying and passing through creating. Collecting stems from uh, the disconnection, material, semantic, and functional that artifacts experience from uh, their environment once they are collected. In the case of missionary collections, Chinese god statues were the material proof. The Chinese religions were pagan, idolatrous, immoral, irrational, and their discard and substitution with Christian material religion was considered the first sign of successful conversion. 
At the same time, Chinese material religion was collected as a way to grasp the idolatrous religion for implementing new successful conversions and missionary strategies um, that could be culturally sensitive or transculturally driven. Chinese collections were, in other words, a discard or reusage of Chinese material religion as part of the missionary endeavor. Chinese god statues often are by the museum storages already in decaying condition, emptied of the material substance of their bags, as you can see from the slide, or even burned because they were rescued from flames uh, during iconoclastic actions. On the one hand, this decaying museum materials reflects what the archaeologist Dan X called as museum nep necropolitics, namely the material dismemberment and silencing of other cultures and their epistemologies. On the one hand, both collecting pads of Chinese material religion show transcultural and cross-cultural uh, exchanges of different perspectives on material. Um, what I was able to assess through popular novels and, mis and missionary accounts um, as it was a constant engagement with Chinese material religion, uh, and in particular, the decay, abandonment, and destruction by worshippers was described as a proof of the fact that Chinese religion was idolatrous and didn't bring the good to the, their worshippers. Um, the instrument of Catholic material religion through the statues of the Virgin Mary, um, uh, Christian medals, and crosses um, within Chinese families was an attempt to educate them about a highly moral, righteous material religion. Whilst writing on the destruction of Chinese gods and showing their lack of power, missionaries understood that it was by studying um, Chinese, uh, Chinese material religion and Chinese material culture in general that it was possible to approach the Chinese in a way that could, uh, could be meaningful for them, not just a translation of a uh, theological corpus. Although missionaries' accounts were biased and ideology-driven, uh, their sensory immersion in Chinese rituals captured the rich flux of material becoming of Chinese religion, which is still visible in contemporary Taiwan. Uh, God's statues are carved from wood pieces, which are then enleaved with seeds or even living hornets uh, to become the bodies of God's spirits. They can be deteriorated because of incense ashes uh, deposited during worship, um, or even burned after a ritual for the removal of the god spirits if the worshiper decide just not to assist to worship that god for various reasons. Um, my criteria proposal would be to show information on some samples of Chinese god statues that were subjected to decay uh, due to iconoclasm and missionaries collecting practices coming both from the Xavierian Missionary Museum uh, in particular, the statue with the back emptied of the powerful substances that you already saw in the previous slides, and other mi missionary collections. In particular, I was thinking about the collection of Chinese gods that were amassed by a Presbyterian missionary who is called uh, George Leslie Mackay, who operated in Taiwan in the 19th century. And uh, among those statues, there are even one that was burned and rescued from flames, as narrated to me by uh, the curator of the Royal Ontario Museum, where now the statues are stored. Um, the exhibition room will also provide some uh, video screening of a god statue's carving process and its the consecration rituals, along with some um, uh, work of one E team working with pine trees and decaying pine trees, or uh, even working with pieces of wood. The exhibition room intends to focus on the different historical and social frameworks in which Chinese material has experienced decay, leaving spaces of reflection on the ambiguity and the transcultural and transreligious encounter that produce missionary collections. For uh, uh, this curatorial proposal, I intend to consult through workshops, not only the artists, but also scholars, um, focusing on uh, Chinese folk religion, as well as wood covers, in a way to find a way that could be feasible and respectful for uh, worshippers uh, uh, of Chinese folk religion. Um, conservation is the other exhibition section. Once artifacts enter the museum, there are living materials we already saw in the previous uh, panels. Um, part of a process of decay due to their usage in daily life are subjected to conservative techniques that supposedly delay 
any effect of time material manipulation. I showed that the literature on conservation studies and the authors of the volume Museale Arreste, which was published in 2022. However, museum artifacts continue to decay in museum galleries because of the position of dust coming from the outside, from audience, uh, even um, pollens that are coming from trees outside the museum. Um, and therefore, uh, the preser and also um, there are some preservative uh, chemicals that are added to the museum artifacts that may make them um, toxic materials. If the material artifact enters the museum premises in a decay condition, interpreting this condition is also particularly uh, challenging. As shown by the anthropologist Shannon Lee Doddy in her work Patna, uh, an artifact's dirty or dusty surface can be considered under specific aesthetic and heritage parameters as a tangible sign of the artifact's authenticity and historical legacy. Under this framework, therefore, museum conservation becomes an act of interpretation, establishing what is valuable within museum settings and how artifacts' values can be maintained or enhanced and, quote, allow users, whether researchers, curators, or visitors, engage with both the physical and the metaphysical aspects of an object, uh, which can be compromised by what is framed as dirt. In this exhibition room, there will be a video installation in which a conservator repairs an artifact made of wood, um, possibly from a Chinese collection in the Czech Republic. Um, in the video installation, the conservator will illustrate what, how wood is usually taken care of in museums, what specific features of the artifact ending at that moment should be emphasized and why. Um, the third exhibition room will focus on storing and displaying strategies, which are strictly interdependent in the museum environment. Displaying artifacts of the collections usually means leaving others unnoticed in the storage rooms. Uh, museum storage rooms usually are constipated, uh, we can use this uh, uh, really digestive metaphor, uh, by a news material collected at different stages and no longer matching curators' needs, or vice versa donated by audience and contributors. As happened in the Xavier Museum, there were several tests and also donations uh, to other um, uh, followers of the congregation, so the collection uh, experience are drastic. A decrease of the material. Both constipation and emptiness are part of a decaying logic, as they are part of the selection criterion that reproduces the ontological conundrum attached to materiality. When is an object be considered to possess entirely museum characteristics and values? And when does it disrupt uh, museum and heritage conventions? At the same time, displaying materials often implies the emphasis of certain features out of others because of the economy of uh, the exhibition, of course. And this partial representation of material artifacts leaves their other features unexplored and decaying in a, center, in a certain sense, a metaphorical sense. Um, in this exhibition room, a video will be screened in which my reading aloud of a fieldwork interview to the Xavier missionary who had redesigned the museum narrates about the selection of the piece on display and the work conducted to grasp where the missing material was. This reading will be put into dialogue with another interview with the curator of the Museum of Modern Art in Olomos or other museum venues in which they can reflect on the selection of criteria involved and the constipation and emptiness phases that their museum collection experienced. Um, since this curatorial proposal is still ongoing, I would be extremely happy to receive any feedback from you and if possible to continue our conservation in the, in the future. So thank you. Thank you very much, Valentina. It was super interesting, uh, this changing position of curator in the installation. So thank you very much for that. <laughs>